Hello, my name is Brian Marchese with the City of Hampton's Marketing and Communications Department. I'm filling in for Robin McCormick, who's uh, unable to uh, film today, and I'm here with Andy Rathman of the St. George Brewing Company, a uh, local brewery in Hampton, Virginia, here. Andy, how are you doing today? Doing well, thanks. Great. So tell me, um, how long has St. George Brewery been in Hampton? We moved here in 1999. Okay. Um, originally, we started down in Virginia Beach, is what they call a brew on premise where people can come in and make their own homebrew, and then we would process it for them, and they'd come back a couple weeks later and bottle it up and take home their cases of beer. Okay. Um, the principals at the time thought, this is a pretty cool idea. They're trying to different recipes that came with the system. Uh, well received, they decided to go commercial and decided to build up the brewery from a little three-barrel brew house they had to a 15-barrel brew house. Okay. And that's when I had gotten involved. So you guys started out as as homebrewers? Not really homebrewers, but we facilitated homebrewers setup uh, that we had really nice equipment. And so instead of doing it on your kitchen stove, you were able to come in there and uh, people would do it individually or they would come in as a group, uh, an office group for an evening out and mm -hmm. uh, uh, just made an evening of it. So That's great. So you've been doing this a long time. How, how would somebody who wants to get into brewing jump into the business? Um, generally, I recommend against it, first of all. Um, <laughs> the, uh, it's a hard life. It's long hours, it's poor pay, it's bad working conditions. It's, you're hot, you're cold, you're wet, you're dusty, dry. Um, uh, at best, sometimes, it is the most mundane of factory work. Uh, <laughs> there's only one advantage. And uh, uh, you really have to be dedicated. You really have to be, really want to do this to be, to make it work. Uh, mm -hmm. In a previous life, I was a double E. I did defense work as an okay. electrical engineer for about 10 years. And um, um, I'm much happier now. Beer for bombs, that was my motto. Beer for bombs, that's so. good. <laughs> well, um, uh, what have, what's made St. George move over from Virginia Beach to Hampton, and why have you guys stayed in Hampton? We picked Hampton more centrally located. Uh, everybody was spread out a little bit, and uh, down to Virginia Beach was just a little tough. Mm -hmm. uh, good business climate. Uh, uh, everybody likes Hampton, so. And you guys uh, work with local businesses as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, we have a local farmer who comes to pick up our spent grain. Um, uh, one of our, the welder we use when we need some repair work, works over Jefferson Lab. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can't get a better welder than a guy that's doing the nuclear stuff. So uh, we're pretty comfortable with him. Um, a lot of our t-shirts and printing materials we do locally. Um, and then restaurants. Uh, uh, Different places will do beer dinners, uh, come up here, or we go to them and uh, talk about beer and talk about beer and food. And uh, it's, it's a great evening when you can sit down with a, a great day when you can sit down with a chef all day and, and work out the beer and the food recipes. And, uh, and that night you go up there and, and See talk them all about paired. it. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, well, I know that you guys have a, a produce a lot of different flavors um, out of here and, and brew a lot of different beer. Can you run through? How many types of beer you have and, and what they are? Um, I have to apologize. I, I tend to forget how many we do. It's about 15 or so. I have That's to count them on my fingers <laughs> <laughs> as I go through them. Um, we tend to do traditional beers, uh, English ales, American lagers, uh, 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 German lagers. The, uh, the, um, our basic four would be a golden ale, an English IPA, mm -hmm. a London porter and a German Pilsner. Uh, we also do an English nut brown ale. All right, I think we're up to five. Now look over here on the wall to see what else we got. Uh, we do do some seasonals. Uh, we have a standard summer ale. We do an Oktoberfest. Uh, we do a winter scotch, which we're Which just came today. off the line when we came mm -hmm. in here. Dry, excuse me. <laughs> um, and then um, yeah, we do a spring lager, a, uh, a Merits and a uh, March beer in the okay. spring. Uh, we do some higher alcohol beers. We do a Bach beer, an Imperial Stout, and an Imperial Pale Ale, English style Pale Ale. Uh, we do a couple contract brews. We do Tupper's beers. Uh, they do two styles of beers. Um, Old Richmond beers, there's three of those. Um, we do an NA beer that we sell to Icelandic seafood. Uh, they use it in their beer battered fish. <laughs> uh, what am I missing? 
Uh, oh, and we have a new one that we just developed for Bush Gardens, our Black Forest, that goes along with a new roller coaster ride uh, for Bolton. That's great, and that's you had mentioned before that you guys do an awful lot of work with Bush Gardens and and for their restaurants and. and I'm pretty and pleased with how that worked out. They approached us about the Oktoberfest when we first came out with it, and they thought uh, when Anheuser Busch had gotten sold, uh, the, the people who bought them and sold off all the theme parks. And so no longer were they being controlled by Anheuser-Busch and what they were able to sell. And so they approached us that year, that same year and said, we really like your Oktoberfest. Can we put it on in our fest tent? All right, which is great for Hampton. It's great for Hampton. Uh, it's good for pretty you. good for us, yes. <laughs> now, you have a, a great tasting beer, and it's um, it's got a really great flavor. Can you tell me about your brewing style? And you're a little bit more, like you said, traditional. We, we think of ourselves as a traditional brewery uh, and we make traditional beers. Uh, I think it come down more to, we tend to drink, we make the beers we like to drink. Mm -hmm. um, and we are not necessarily up for our um, unusual beers, or beers that push the envelope so much. We can appreciate them as brewers. We know what goes into making them and what the brewers who are making them are doing. But at the end of the day, when you finish that beer, do you want a second one or a third one? Um, is it something that really appeals to you or is it something that you just appreciate saying, you know, that was a really nice flavor, but I've had enough of it and I think I need to go do something else. Now take us through the process. Uh, you gave me a little tour uh, before we started mm -hmm. and it's, it's very involved and you have big vats and, and different machines and stuff like that out there. Can you take us through the process of, of making the beer? It, um, <clears throat> Brewing is using organic materials, and so we got to realize that we're a bioorganic process here. Um, things are always changing, and things are always varying a little bit. Uh, so, and I'm not real sure why I got into that, but it occurred to me that I should say that. Um, four ingredients, though, for beer: right, malt, hops, water, and yeast. The um, obviously each one adds its own attributes. Uh, when we develop a recipe, we're looking at all the different types of malts different types of hops, uh, uh, water. We have really good water here in Hampton. The, uh, it's relatively soft. Mm -hmm. and if you consider that all the great beers of the world tended to be centered around certain areas, had certain types of water. And the beers that were brewed there were always considered the best of their style. So in England, the pale ales came from Burton-on-Trent, the best ones. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, uh, German exports, the Pilsners, came from an area called Dortmund. Munich is great for their Hellas's. Uh, mm -hmm. The original Pilsner came from a town in the Czech Republic called Pilsen. That's why they call them Pilsners, and they had very soft water. Um, and so with our soft water, we were able to beef up our water. We were able to add minerals and chemicals to it to duplicate the great brewing centers of the world and help define those beers a little bit more. So when we do it, our IPA, we use Burton on Trent water. Mm -hmm. um, our Pilsners with Burton on Burton water. Um, our Porter Porter is made with London water. Okay. Um, our Gold Ale, which is a uh, American Pale Ale, is made with Chico California water. Um, <laughs> it, um, and it helps separate, helps define the beers a little bit. Well, St. George Brewery is not only a brewery, but it's also a, a tourist destination mm -hmm. for people to come to Hampton and, yes. and tour. Um, when did you guys start opening it up to tours? And also, I think Virginia changed its laws where you guys can start selling the beer on, pr on, on the property now. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, breweries are always tourist destinations. There are beer brewery tourists. They go out there and travel from state to state, brewery to brewery, and visit them all. Um, people always like to go visit a brewery, whether it's Anheuser Bush with their Clydesdales and their thousand bottle a minute bottling line, or uh, small places like this. Um, it's fun to look at. It's, it's something you don't necessarily think of every day, and at the end of the day, you can have a taste of beer. The um, Virginia just passed a law that allows us not only to offer samples when we're doing tours, uh, but to sell pints of beer for sale on, or for consumption on, on premise. And uh, that's just in the last few months, in the last six months. Mm -hmm. And really, it's opened up a lot of doors for us to have people come in Saturday afternoons. Uh, uh, we bought a big screen TV and hook up some popcorn, and uh, we have quite a few people come through. We bring food trucks outside, pizza trucks and taco trucks, and uh, uh, it's quite an event. We put in a horseshoe court out front, and 
and it's, it's a lot of fun. And how can people find you? You guys are at, located actually right across the street from NASA. Mm -hmm. And um, do you guys have a website? And we have a website, St. George Brewing company.com which would be st george st george brewing code.com um, uh, we're on facebook and um, uh, um, um, address is 203 challenger way in hampton uh, we are at the corner of challenger and voyager that tells you how close we are to to, uh, to nasa that's great well you have a long history here in hampton and we're happy yeah. to have you and hope you're here many more years all right so well, thank, thank you for having us and showing us around i appreciate it and thank you for joining us here on Round Robin. We hope you can come out to St. George Brewing Company uh, out across from NASA and try some of their beers and see how the process works. And thank you for joining us.